Hey, it's Brad here uh, with uh, guitar. What are we at? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> hey, it's Brad here with guitarjams.com. Today we're going to do pinch harmonics. Um, it's really popularized by uh, Billy Gibbons, Eddie Van Halen, um, George Lynch, a lot of the 80s guys. It was like a staple in the bag of tricks. It's a really cool technique and it's really fairly easy. Um, but it's, you know, again, it, it adds really cool different notes to the same position, different sounds to the same positions you're used to playing. So, we'll take the trusty A pentatonic position again. And uh, what we're going to do is, to do pinch harmonics, it's just getting um, your pick, a little of your finger, and your thumb. Okay, so what I do is, um, I do it almost kind of a motion to where... Um, if you can see this, what we're doing is you just, you're getting the pick first and then you're following with the, the flesh on your thumb. So kind of a, my guitar, my guitar's turned down a little bit so you don't quite get the full. Also, pinch harmonics is a lot easier with gain, although that you can do it without it, but it makes it a lot easier. So um, one of the riffs uh, that I opened up with was just walking down a pentatonic scale and doing all pinch harmonics on each string. So what we're gonna do is. All we're doing there is I'm really staying in about the same spot. Um, if you're playing with the Strat, it's gonna be right around uh, the, the front of your middle pickup. Um, so, you know, on any typical guitar, on, on a, like a Les Paul, it'd be in between your two humbuckers. And you can play around on the string and get different harmonics. Like if I take the same note, so I'm gonna stick on the fifth fret of the G string um, and just move my pick around, uh, doing the same technique, you get all sorts of different. And it also really sounds good when you hit a pinch harmonic, if you throw a little vibrato in there. Makes you sound all 80s and rad. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in on the right hand and get a, more of an idea of the mechanics behind the pinch harmonic. So again, um, you're gonna use, I use the nail, you know, kind of a combination between my nail, pick, and thumb. And I do it in kind of a, like you're turning a house key, kind of a, a out motion like this uh, on, when you hit the string. Again, I'm kind of sticking in this middle region um, of my guitar. And what we're gonna do is, I, I, I dig in pretty good. So, so I'm just, uh, if you can see that my thumb is kind of in an angle, so um, my pick and my thumb are hitting kind of at a, pretty much about the same time, but I'm really digging into the string. And you can get all sorts of crazy harmonics all over the neck. Um, you know, you can do all sorts of bar dives if you have a, you know, a, a tremolo or whatever. Um, but they're all over the neck. Like you can get a, a cool one on the G string on the second. <laughs> on the second fret um, and that one run I was doing earlier like I said it was just a walk down of a uh, of a pentatonic scale the first position so you're gonna do so again, watch the again it's easier with a little bit more gain um, if you have a strat um, the more gain the better it's uh, uh, artificial harmonics really come out with humbucking pickups, so it's really kind of catered more to that, but like we're seeing right here, if you have enough gain with the Strat, it all works. So again, uh, just play around. There's different spots uh, on the guitar, like a good one's on the uh, eighth fret of the B string. It's a little bit harder to hit. We'll see if I can get it. You can get really high-pitched ones. Um, the, lowers, the lower ones are kind of cool. They're kind of meatier sounding. Uh, something that you could put in like a song, you know, like a... Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to incorporate pinch harmonics into a riff or a rhythm. Um, and we're just, you can, you know, obviously I'll show you how to embellish it a little bit more towards the beginning, but I'll keep it really simple in the beginning. And, uh, you know, you can just start with something like this. So what I typically do is I like more like aggressive sounding vamp. So what I'll do is I'll pick, you know, two or three notes. Like in this instance, I'm in, uh, you know, I'm in A. I like using A. Um, just because it's a really good spot to, you know, you can incorporate all of your uh, pentatonic riffs. 
and they still sound big and thick. So I, I stick an A a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the G to the A string on the sixth fret. Other notes we're gonna use are gonna be the third fret of the A string and the fifth fret of the A string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and forth and do kind of a simple rhythm. So we'll start with something like, I'll take off some of the gain here. Okay, we're gonna take a simple riff like that. The only difference we're gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, the C note on the A string. So let me throw a little gain on there. So let's do that slow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hammer on here. So what I'm doing is I'm hammering on from the G note to the A note. And then I'm gonna do a little mute. And then I'm gonna catch the A note, which is on the uh, sixth string of the fifth fret on my upstroke. So it's... Okay, so one, once again. Like that, we're just gonna repeat it. So we got... So, a little bit quicker with a little more distortion. Here we go. Then you can just embellish it. You can, you know, uh, you can use the same notes. You don't always have to, you know, be doing uh, one note per string or one picked note per string. You can double up. My favorite things to do is uh, make it sound, I like riffs that sound really percussive. So all, like I said before, if you caught in any of the other lessons, I like to use a lot of open strings in my riffs. So what we're gonna do is I'll do a simple one like. All I did there was I did the same riff. So I'm doing open E. That's really it. So it's open. But it's the attack that you put on it and the rhythm that you choose to use that's important. So it's. I like to sit on notes sometimes too, like the C note. I'm sorry. <laughs> Same thing, uh, I just embellished that first riff a little bit more, adding the D note. So we got. So what we got is. Uh, back up to the, um, the uh, fifth fret of the E string. And then we're gonna go uh, D. So D on the um, A string. Back up to the E string, back to the C, and then back. So, all together we got, I'll just throw something, I'll do a couple runs together and we'll mix it up. harmonics with rhythm. It's a good tool to have in your belt. Once again, this is Brett with guitarjams.com. Thanks for watching.